I love my afro. It's a huge part of who I am. It makes me feel strong. It makes me feel empowered. I feel so confident when I have my hair just nice and big and voluminous. The last time I measured it, it was 4 feet 10 inches in circumference. Getting the record for the largest afro was such a proud moment for me. Every time I wear my hair like this, I feel the celebration. So this is my pick. This gives me the ultimate volume for my fro. It's a must have. Then I have my water just to freshen up the fro throughout the day. I started growing my afro about 10 years ago. I had straight hair before then and then I just decided to try the natural look. My name is Simone. I previously held the Guinness World Record for largest afro and I'm growing my hair out to attempt it again. I decided to start growing my hair as a way to save money. I was going to the salons multiple times a month, spending between $50 and $100. But once I moved, I started to see my new growth and my new hair texture, and I just kept it going, and I never went back to perms after that. The last time I measured it, it was 4 feet 10 inches in circumference. So the measurement is taken at eye level, and my hair is fully blown out. It's Four feet, 10 inches. I was inspired to grow the record because as my hair grew, there was a lot of attention that I would get around it. So one day I Googled largest afro and I saw that Guinness had a category for it and I was inspired to actually continue growing my hair and attempt it one day. Some of my favorite styles are a twist out, which is a more defined curly style that I wear if I'm going out. I love to have a pineapple, which is a high puff all my hair at the top of my head. It's just a lot of styles that keep it off my face. People think my afro requires a lot of time, but really I'm a low maintenance natural. It takes me about 10 minutes to get ready in the morning. I broke the Guinness World Record for largest afro in February of 2020. The feeling when I broke the record, I shed a few tears. Like I had like my head in my hands, like this can't be real, but it was such a good feeling. When I used to read the Guinness World Records at my grandma's house, I never thought I would be in it. The whole natural hair journey for me was a boost in confidence. I broke the Guinness World Record for largest afro in February of 2020. And in March of 2021, the previous record holder gained the title back. I will attempt to break the record again. Make my grandma really proud for the second time. I'm going to meet up with my friend Ricketti. She's an old friend and she's been with me throughout my whole natural hair journey. The reactions I get on the street vary, so if I see a woman, like she'll compliment me very nicely. If I'm in traffic, sometimes people blow their horns. I've gotten the thumbs up before. Hi, pumpkin. What? Look at you. Aww. You look like a singer. I remember when you told me that you were just going to go natural. I was like, really? Like. You sure? Uh, okay, cool. I think, and everybody was just genuinely, like, really excited for you. We were just like, all right, well, we're just gonna have to, like, support her as best as we can. But, like, how do you feel going through this process? I definitely feel more visible. When I see my face on websites, it's, it's so bizarre, but it also feels really good. Like, the messages that I get from people telling me that I inspire them, like, it makes me feel good. And I'm just like, me, little old me, but I'm happy to be that source of inspiration for others. Culturally, having this hairstyle, it's a symbol of power, strength. A couple years ago, I would never think about walking down the street with my hair this wide and high because it just wasn't accepted. So now when I do it, I just feel super empowered. Presently, I don't think that I would cut it anytime soon, but I don't know what the future holds. If I didn't have my afro, I would feel incomplete. It's become a part of me that I've grown to love. It's an accessory to me. Some people love to wear purses. I love to let my fro out and wear it big. So it means a lot to me, and I don't see myself getting rid of it anytime soon. Every time I wear my hair like this, I feel the celebration. I don't need to manipulate, I don't need to relax. It's still beautiful and it's a part of me. I can't imagine life without my afro.